What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with a mystery box unboxing. That's right. I just got my Comic Time 101 mystery mail call for the month. And if you want to see what I got in the mail and be able to give it a grade on what you think I got, stay tuned for the video. So that's right, I got my Comic Time 101 Mystery Mail Call in, and as you might know from other videos like these that I have dropped in the past, I've been kind of back and forth on Tom's Mystery Box. Some months I'm all in, and then some months I'm like cancel it, and I skip a few months. Well, the last couple of times have been really uh, the uh, secret variants that were in there were the reason that I kept on going. Uh, the TMNT 109. Uh, variant that they had a, a couple of months ago and then I'm trying to remember which one the one last month was and I believe this month was the uh, Green uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger uh, one and then they released the Shang-Chi uh, as well so let's see what I got so first off we got Shang-Chi number one uh, this was a book that I had planned on picking up. Uh, ended up getting a Walmart pack with it in it. Read it. It was okay. Picked up number two, uh, mainly for the Alex Ross cover. Uh, but uh, so this is kind of late to the game. Um, I don't know. I might uh, sell this one and keep the Walmart one or vice versa. But uh, an okay book. Then we've got Aquamini Arts. This is the little card that kind of tells what you got in here and if it's any good. Uh, the low print exclusives, we got Power Rangers 55, which is uh, the Comic Tom 101 variant. Uh, then we've got Shang-Chi 1, which you just saw. There is an, also a possibility of a Phantom Star Killer and uh, the Gods of Brutality Ash Can. So those are the iffies. And uh, there's 1,700 of the Mighty Morphin with trade dress and 1,300 virgins. And this is kind of how they kind of keep up with it. And usually they put it on there with some cool art. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got Batgirl 49. I already have this. Um, pretty bad story. 50 was horrible. Don't waste your money. Don't read it. This one was, you know, digestible, I guess you'd say. Uh, Superman Man of Steel, number five. Got us a nice little spine roll there. So, um, wow, no good. Uh, then we've got uh, Godzilla in Hell, number one. Uh, this is the Comics Dungeon exclusive. The funny thing about this is, I don't know how many copies of this they actually have, uh, but they must have an awful lot because, ironically, I got a copy of this last month in the Mystery Mail Call. And uh, so that sucks. Um, then we've got the Spider Woman number five. Uh, or Legacy 100. I've got to look and see if this is one that I have. Uh, I was picking up Spider Woman until. So this is not one that I had. Um, so this Spider Woman was not one I had. This is the In Hook Lee cover, if I'm not mistaken. It's issue five of the current run, number 100. This is where I got off of Spider Woman because I just saw kind of where they were going with the, the series and I wasn't interested to follow at that point. It was an okay story up to that point right there. But I had picked up the Alex Ross Timeless variant, so I did not get this one. Although the In Hook Lees are typically the ones that I got, so I didn't get that one. So I'll probably hang on to that one, so that one's okay. Uh, really dope, like a, a negative variant uh, print of Lord Zed, uh, number 1089 of 1300. So that was pretty cool, seeing some other people get theirs and knew that one was coming. And then we've got a Catwoman print, assumably by the same person, um, where she's eating bats. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 55 um, from uh, Boom Studios. Really dope looking cover. 
Um, this is really the, the main reason. The other stuff was um, that uh, the other stuff was just extras. So the Lord's Ed print was uh, definitely a good one. Spider Woman number five, and Hook Lee covers a keeper. Um, unsure about the Shang Chi. If I had known about it sooner, maybe I would have gotten rid of the Walmart variant because uh, I buy those Walmart packs and typically sell off what I don't want. I uh, could have sold it and uh, not had a, a copy of that. So uh, it is a different cover, like the Spider Woman, which I indicated I might keep, but I'm not sure if I'm sold on the series yet. Just not really, uh, not far enough along. Uh, and the covers are not that dynamic for me to uh, make a deal. So I did not have any uh, surprises like pictures or anything like that, unfortunately. So sad emojis there. Um, I'm going to have to look and see what the variant for the next month is uh, because if it's no good, I'm going to cancel it. I don't get the grandfathered price. I know some people do and kudos to Tom for keeping those people at the lower price point, but I don't get that lower price point. Um, I had a lower price point, not the lowest one, but I had a lower one than what I have now. And when I canceled it one or two months, I lost it when I went and came back. So, um, you know, you're talking about 38 bucks with shipping. You know, that Power Rangers one's maybe 20. I haven't looked it up on eBay. So feel free to comment uh, down below as to what you think on this haul. Uh, but I'm going to give it a, a C minus. Definitely a, a maybe a D plus. Um, not the best uh, haul that I had, and then the fact that I, and I don't know how many of these do they put one in every cotton picking box. Uh, it's just odd that I got one of these, and I've seen other people get them. Uh, they must have a buttload of these things to try to get rid of. Um, the fact that I got one of those uh, in a previous box, and I got. Um, a book, an older book, but it's a spine roll. Now, if this was like a, you know, a book that was had some value on it, okay, big deal. It's got a spine roll. It's that old of a book. But this is a book from '91. This is a dollar bin book, and it's got a, a spine roll. This is really not good business, I don't think. But so, like I said, uh, I'm thinking D plus. Uh, and I'm going to really uh, ponder whether or not I keep it for the next month. But tell me down in the comments below as to what you think on this uh, haul. What do you think you would give it as far as a grade goes? Um, are you currently subscribed to Comic Tom's uh, Mystery Mail Call? Or do you plan to get subscribed? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure before you get out of here to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell notification so that when videos like this randomly drop, you will be one of the first people to know and you can make the conscientious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or to watch it later. But in any case, if you watch it, we love you. And there you go. Um, be sure to check out some of my other videos uh, because I've got a lot of content that's been going to be dropping. Um, and... Be sure to hit that bell notification so you'll know when that happens. And then also uh, check out my other videos to learn how you can enter to win my 600 subscriber giveaway of a New Mutants 98. That's right. First appearance of Deadpool in a 9.4 CGC slab. It's easy to do. So check out one of my former videos with the details of how you can enter to win that book right there. And when we hit the 600 subscriber mark, we will be giving that away. As always, I thank everybody for watching. Till next time, keep reading and keep collecting. Adios.